And I'd like to welcome everybody here, everybody watching across the country, and everybody watching around the world to the Kevin Garnett Number Retirement Ceremony. You know, it was about 14 years ago, and I remember it pretty clearly. You go left out of the hotel, you go down to the bottom of the hill, you jump on the train that's there, you go until the very last stop, and right there, there being a World War II armory that was actually the home court now for an Italian basketball team. Now, why is that important to know? That's where Kevin Garnett would play his very first game in a Celtic uniform. I remember being really anxious to see KG play. I mean, this was a Celtic team that had lost 18 straight games this previous year. I mean, we, we needed help. I didn't even want to broadcast the game. I just wanted to sit around and watch this guy and see if he could possibly be as good as everybody said he was. By halftime, I wanted to find Danny, H Danny Ainge rather than give him a hug. This guy was, this guy was crazy good. He covered fives, he covered ones. He destroyed anybody who tried to get near his basket. He got all the rebounds. He passed out a half dozen or so assists. He had a couple of blocks, maybe two or three steals. He screamed at an opponent. He coached one of his own teammates, and he stared down an official. And most of all, he played this preseason game in a suburb of Rome. With about 99% of the United States asleep, he played that game like it was his last. And so he would all year long. From that primal scream that preceded every single game to the smile on his face, the Gino rather, with some dancing. And, and after destroying everybody in the East and the Lakers in the West, he rode into the NBA Finals. And then he rode around the city of Boston on the bow of a duck boat while thousands came out to cheer Kevin Garnett. So for all the radio guys, Kevin, and the audio guys, and the camera guys, and the tape guys, and the guys in the truck, and the staff of the TD Garden, all the people and the vendors and the ushers and the security, men and women who work here, the police, the medics, the bull gang, but most of all for the fans who jumped on, who held on and loved every minute. For them I say, thanks for the ride, Kevin. Thanks for the ride. Kenny! It's just like the old days, Kevin, you have a perk right behind you there.